good day my dear students now i go to the heart as i told you keep your books open and a set of notes ready for jotting down most of the points should be marked in your book and otherwise you shall go to the rats and again back to your book the topics in the heart mainly will be what are the diseases that are having pathological lesions in that rheumatic heart disease will be one of the most important ones it is a repeatedly off cast essay and i would like you people to kindly mention what is the etiology what is the pathogenesis so just writing streptococcus is not sufficient there will be a flow diagram that is given and how there is a cross reaction it affects the valve leaflets because of a similar morphology that will be important for us to write and secondly you find that there is a fibrin like material and then there are vegetations so the valvular lesions you people will have to mention and in your book they would have given the extra valvular lesions such as the mecklenburg's plaque etc which you people will have to mention there are two sets of lesions one will be the cardiac the other will be the extra cardiac one of the most important things 99% will be the ash of nodule see whether you are located it ash of nodule by itself is a question so what are the ash of giant cells what are the anishko cells what are the stages in the formation of the ash of body and finally what is the fate of these things are important ultimately you find that there will be a valvular thickening and that can be a stenosis or an incompetence etc so this you people will have to mention what is the fish mouth stenosis a button hole stenosis and what are the extra cardiac manifestations what is the erythema what is the vasculitis and so on so kindly go through the manifestations of it the next will be infective endocarditis infective endocarditis is also a very important valvular disease the common question will be what are the different vegetations of the heart and the main thing i will have to answer will be rheumatic heart disease and infective endocarditis sle and the others are also there there are four conditions marantic endocarditis which i should mention the types of vegetation whenever there is an infection elsewhere i can get an infective endocarditis such as a periodontal abscess or any congenital heart disease a predisposing rheumatic heart disease can also be leading to what can be a surgery that can lead to these are all important things and there are two sets of infective endocarditis one is supposed to be an acute and another is a subacute there will be a small tabular column that i have given mentioning the differences so this i would like you people to kindly mark vegetations are bulky friable leading to septic embolism what are the growth spots osler snows etc they are very important for us to answer the valvular deformities mainly it can be a stenosis or an incompetence and in syphilis apart from these two conditions please remember there will be an aortic incompetence i would have described it in detail in my class on syphilis how the aorta is being affected so you should go to it and then there can be an aortic incompetence what are all the other lesions that can be there the bark of a tree appearance so these are all important things which you people will have to highlight always your answer must carry one pathological point it should not be vague generalized it is a dangerous disease etc specimen of course most of the colleges will be having a hypertrophy of the heart it is unlikely the students will be given any other thing so the hypertrophy of the left ventricle you people can read up i have also explained in my other classes look at this for example the lesions in a case of rheumatic i am giving these as examples only i have already covered it in my previous class it is your duty to go back to those classes the vegetations for example they are firm 
and they are along the lines of closure of the valve leak. These words are important. I cannot be saying something. Hardly a few millimeters in size. Whereas in the case of infective endocarditis, they are large, bulky, friable, overhanging the edges of the valve. That is the way you people should describe. I have come to the end of the second class. We shall meet in the third.